Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question now. A plane of a coil is positioned at right angles to a magnetic field of the flux density B. The coil has n number of turns and each of area A. The coil is rotated through 180 degree in time t. What is the magnitude of the induced EMF? Okay, dear students, so what we do in these kind of questions, I tell you, uh, according to Faraday, E is given by the change in flux divided by change in time. Well, when I use the calculus terms, it is always about the instantaneous values of the EMF that is induced. So this is the instantaneous value, like you are moving and instantaneously at every instant, what is the EMF that is induced? But we are not concerned with that now because he's saying that it is rotated about 180 degrees um, in the time t. So we are just concerned with the initial and the final position. So we are indeed talking about the average value of the EMF induced and that will be given by change in flux divided by change in time. My dear students, be careful. I'm not using any negative sign there because negative sign wants to say, wants to talk about the direction of the induced current and the induced EMF, but that is of no objective here. That is why I'm not including the negative sign in the first place. So what is happening here is uh, we are going to find the first flux. So first flux, the area is like this. So the magnetic field is towards left hand side. So I will say that the direction of the area is also direction of the area is also towards left hand side. So the flux can be taken as B into A. Now one side will be taken positive, another will be taken negative. So you can choose the right hand side to be positive, left hand side to be positive, anything. In this case, because a magnetic field is towards the left hand side, I just take the left hand side to be positive. So this side will be positive. Now what is phi two? And obviously there will be cos theta. Cos theta. Now there is a problem. What is the theta here? You see, they say that the plane is at right angles to the magnetic field. So it's highly uh, susceptible here, or I can say deceptive here, that students will be um, taking angle to be 90 degree. But no, this is not 90 degree. The angle is zero degree. You see, the plane is at 90 degree with the magnetic field. The plane of the coil is at 90 degree. But we are not concerned with the plane of the coil. We are concerned with the area as a vector. Yes, area is a vector. Now, I'm concerned with area vector. So this is, let us say, the loop here. And it's drawn like this. So you now know like which, which, which phase is like here and which phase is on the other side of uh, the diagram. So let us say we are concerned with this area, this area. So this will be the area vector. So we can say that, yeah, this is the plane of the area. Try to understand this is the plane of the area and the magnetic field is given by let us say magnetic field is also in this direction so in this case clearly the magnetic field is perpendicular to the area of coil but magnetic field vector is parallel to area vector. We are actually concerned with the area vector. So do not be fascinated with this thing when you read, no, like right angles and eventually you just jump to the conclusion that theta is 90 degree. Theta is not 90 degree, it is zero degree. So for this case, it is zero degree. So here, I'm just substituting it to be zero. So cos zero is one. So clearly this is equal to B now let us go for phi 2. Now what is phi 2? It will be B A cos 180 degree. Why? Because you have now rotated it with 180 degrees. It means that now the ring is like this. Now area vector is in the back side direction but the magnetic field is still in the same direction. So what is the angle between the magnetic field and area? 180 degree now. So this will be 180 and cos 180 is negative, negative one. So it will be negative BA. Now, obviously there are N number of turns. So all of the flux will be multiplied by N. So this is becoming NBA and this will also be negative NBA. Now, I want to find the change in flux. So it will be final minus initial. So negative NBA, negative 
positive of NBA. So overall, it is becoming double the NBA. Definitely, we are not concerned with the negative sign, so we can get rid of it later. Don't worry about that. So the delta phi is twice of NBA. Now, what is the time taken? Time taken is T. So clearly, the EMF induced is twice of NBA divided by T. So it is uh, twice of BAN divided by T. So definitely, D is our correct answer. So this is how we do this question, my dear students. This is a repeat telecast question, finding the average EMF. This is average EMF because we are only concerned with the initial position and the final position, not in between them. So this question is to be done like this. This is a very important question. Please watch videos again and again and try to be perfect with this question because I know you're going to get a similar question there in your examination. Okay. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Thanks for watching the video. Please share the YouTube channel with all your friends. Please try to join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions, which are as explanatory as paper one answers here that I'm giving. All the best.